yesterday night. I enjoyed it very much. And one my, of my favorite issues is when to treat the patients at relapse. Uh, usually it has been uh, at the time of clinical symptoms. So when symptoms from myeloma develop. But now there is also an agreement on treating these patients at relapse when there is a significant paraproteinemic relapse in the serum or in the urine or both. And so we deeply discussed this. And also I showed a presentation of a paper, an article that was published by our group two years ago in, uh, in Bone Metal Transplantation, the journal, and we analyzed the pattern of relapse and we observed that the pattern of relapse was very similar clinically to the initial disease presentation and also that half of the patient had asymptomatic relapse, not needing therapy at the time of relapse, and half had relapse with symptoms. And also we show how the patients with asymptomatic relapse increase the M protein and should receive therapy in a median of six months. And we also identify a subgroup of patients not needing therapy after relapse within the first two years from relapse after autologous transplant. And these patients had indolent disease after relapse, had also indolent disease at diagnosis, and the survival after relapse was longer than eight years. So these patients benefit from no treatment at the time of relapse, only when there is a significant paraproteinemic or developed clinical symptoms. And finally, the, talk, the, the speech was about 25 minutes or so, and I was very pleased because the, there were a lot of questions, a lot of questions, 45 minutes question until nine o'clock, and were questions on the relapse setting, on the smoldering myeloma and how to treat high-risk myeloma and upfront therapy, relapse therapy. So it was a very wide discussion.